Hey there, travelers, it's Sandra from The Mobile Retiree. Today, we're gonna to dive into something every traveler needs, the perfect personal item bag. We've got four bags to review, and I'll be sharing how I plan to use one of these as my personal item during our travels. But before we jump into the details, let's talk about what makes a bag a personal item and how it differs from a carry-on bag. Let's start with the basics. When you're flying, some airlines allow you to bring two pieces of luggage on the plane with you, a carry-on bag, and a personal item. But what's the difference? A carry-on bag is typically a small suitcase or duffel that goes in the overhead bin. It's where you're gonna pack most of your clothes and other travel essentials. A personal item, on the other hand, is usually smaller. Um, think a small backpack, a tote, or a compact duffel and it must fit under the seat in front of you. Your personal item is where you want to keep things you want during the flight, like your laptop, electronics, snacks, a book, and maybe a change of clothes. For me, choosing the right personal item is crucial because it, along with my carry-on sized roller bag, needs to be compact, yet spacious enough to hold everything I need for full-time travel for months at a time. Now here's something every traveler needs to be aware of. Airlines are getting stricter about what you can bring on board with you. While most of us are used to carrying a carry-on bag, a personal item, and maybe even a small purse or messenger bag, some airlines are cracking down on that third item. If you're not careful, you could be asked to consolidate or even pay extra fees. The key is to understand your airline's rules. Um, some airlines spe specify the dimensions of that personal item, so be sure to check those before you pack. If you carry a purse or a small messenger bag, leave room inside your personal item bag so that you can stow it in there before boarding. That way, you're technically only carrying two items. And tip. When packing your two bags, be aware that you could be forced to check a bag, either because some entitled person has failed to follow the rules or because the airline or airplane is simply full and there's no more room overhead. Plan ahead. Be sure your electronics, toiletries, and a change of clothes are in your personal item bag just in case. That way you can avoid any last minute hassles at the gate. Now that we've covered the basics, Let's get into the nitty gritty of how each of these bags performs as a personal item. We'll be looking at their size and whether they should fit under the seat in front of you, organizational features, laptop safety, trolley sleeve functionality, and of course, price. Let's get started. So this is the Bag Smart bag, and I just want to demonstrate the trolley sleeve. As you can see, it's got a full height sleeve on it and it's got a little zippered pocket so that you can put in your passport and phone which makes it an easy access during your checkpoints and it's got these reinforced corner stitching which is kind of important if you're doing this a lot it's taking a lot of strain so again this is the bag smart bag and i just wanted to demonstrate whether or not it can fit underneath the seat in the airline to be under seat uh to meet the under seat criteria, it needs to be 18 by 8 by 14, if I remember correctly. And this bag is 18. Eh, it's a little snug there, but it does swoosh down quite a bit. So it fits easily under the 14 inches. And this is the bag, smart bag, fully loaded. So the Bag Smart bag has several pockets. It has a little corner one or water bottle pocket on each end. There's another one over here on this side. It has the little front pocket here for pens, paper. It's got the little key uh, strap, which we don't really use because we don't normally have keys with us when we're traveling. Um, one drawback to this front pocket is that it does have just the full slipper, uh, zipper, so it's always here. I'm used to having two. Um, then it has this pocket here. 
for stuff. And then it has this pocket here for the laptop. So it has the laptop compartment and little mesh pockets for various things. What I liked about this bag is that it does open fully so that you can easily load and unload. Okay, so now I'm going to unload everything so that you can see everything that I have fit into this bag. It has my laptop, and the laptop compartment is great. It is padded on both sides, but the bottom padding isn't as much as I would have liked, but I have a solution. Wool socks just laid across the bottom there so that if I do drop my bag, it's a little bit more protected. The um, Velcro attachment to close the laptop is stretchy so that there is a little bit of room there. I have some documents, the shoulder strap, my international driving permit, my, I forget, oh, flex flap there. I have the uh, adapters for my electronic devices. I have markers. I have my little folding fan, which comes in super handy when it's hot. I have my necklace, which has my uh, essential oils in it. This is the little shoe bag, which comes with the bag, which I will be using, but not for this purposes. My wet wipes, my toiletry bag, my change of clothes, my airplane survival kit, which has everything I'll need on the plane, and a handy little bag there. I have my uh, liquids there, a little bit more toiletries, my socks for when my feet get cold, my electronics, my uh, puffy vest. The purse that I mentioned earlier also fits in there. Another little bag with some essential items, and of course, my travel towel. Because a good traveler always knows where their towel is. Because a good traveler always knows where their towel is, exactly. Um, the other nice thing about this is that with this other zipper here, you can put your liquid container right here at the top, makes it easy to pull out when you're going through your checkpoints. The other thing this suitcase has, or this briefcase has, is a wet pouch here. So if you know you need to stick your wet swimsuit or whatnot in here, you can do that as well. Okay. So this is the Eco Hub Weekender bag, and I just wanted to demonstrate how it fits onto the trolley sleeve. It's got a full height sleeve. And then it also has a little zippered pocket for putting in your uh, phone and passport, that sort of thing. Make it easy to get through checkpoints. So the trolley sleeve and the straps are sort of uh, built together. So the stitching here along the strap holds your trolley sleeve in place. I don't see any reinforced stitching along the trolley sleeve, although the strap itself does have this reinforced stitching here. But if your stitching along the strap comes loose, then you're just screwed as far as the trolley sleeve goes. So I wanted to take a couple of measurements so that we can just see if it will fit into the under seat space, which uh, from what we can gather is 18 by 8 by 14, if I remember correctly. So this one. Easily does the 18, and then eh, it's, a little, it's gonna be a tight squeeze. I guess you might be able to get it to go eight that direction, although it does look a little full. And this has got the same stuff that's in the other videos in the other bags. And then the height is easily 14 that way. So um, we're good on height. Might be a little troublesome getting the width into the sizer that's at the airlines. So the Echo Hub bag has two water pockets, one on each end. It has the trolley sleeve bag that we talked, or trolley sleeve pocket that I mentioned earlier. It has the little front pocket on the very, very front 
It's got a little flap, so it does sort of hide. And then it's got this pocket, which has room for a couple of pens, paper, more paper or phone, I guess, could go there. It has this pocket, which is the wet pocket, in case you need to put wet swimsuit or whatnot in there. It has that zipper there, which opens up, um, and then it also has this zipper compartment here for your laptop. And then this suitcase is another one that opens fully. This is the little shoe bag that comes with it and shoulder straps. Um, yeah, so one thing I did notice loading this one up is there aren't that many. Uh, it seemed like the interior pockets were a little bit different, but I'm going to unload it so that you can see that everything that fits in the other bags fit into this bag. So there's a my little essentials my uh, little travel fan, markers that I always carry with me, my wet wipes, extra pair of wool socks just in case, my necklace with my essential oils on it, a couple of toiletry items, the electronic adapters for my electronic devices. In this mesh pocket here is my purse fits in there as well that we talked about earlier. Electronics there my puffy vest, all of my toiletries, a change of clothes, my airplane comfort kit, my uh, liquids. Which... So one thing we did notice when we were loading and unloading this suitcase or this weekender bag is accessing your liquids, the quart liquid bag, uh, when going through a checkpoint. In order to do that with this bag, you would have to unzip all of that and then unzip this to reach into this compartment to pull out your liquids. You can't access the main compartment through here. So, um, and there is just the one zipper, so you have to actually unzip in order to get into your main compartment for your liquids. Now, I guess you could put your liquids in this compartment here. and then you could access them that way. But that is something to note that in order to put your liquids in, you need to be strategic with that. More socks, because one can never have enough socks. And of course my travel towel, because you know, a traveler always knows where their towel is. And then in this compartment is the laptop. Now, one thing that I did notice about this is there is basically no padding in the bottom. So. Um, like I did with the, or like I do with my other um, bag, I can always take my wool socks and sort of lay them across the bottom there to give it a little bit more extra padding. Um, so I think that's it. So this is the Miss Nine Weekender bag, and I just wanted to demonstrate how it fits on the trolley there. So it does have a trolley strap. Um, so, probably have to use both handle and the strap in order for it to be secure. It does not have the full height sleeve like the other bags do, um, and there's no zippered compartment for like your phone or um, passport sort of thing. So it does have reinforced stitching here where the strap is, which is nice. A um, little bit harder for it to, to give way there. So this is the Miss Nine bag, and it does have. Water bottle, water bottle pockets, although they do seem kind of shallow. Um, and there is one on each side. Um, I guess that will probably hold, but there's that. And then let's measure it to make sure that it will fit in the under seat area. Uh, the sizers are 18 by 8 by 14. So we have 18. We're good there. Um, we are way over on the eight inches, although I guess if you were to lift the bag and squish it up, although the base of the bag does show nine, nine and a half inches, so it is a little big for that. 
Um, and this, we did put the extender, and I'll explain more about that in just a moment, but we did pull the extender out uh, with all of the stuff in there that we fit into the, all of the other bags. Um, but we are easily, easily under the 14 inches with the extender in place. So the Miss Line Weekender bag, it does have this pocket in the front here. And then it has the water bottle pockets as mentioned earlier. And then it has this main compartment pocket, which has this little pocket here. Um, don't be confused by this. I'll explain that in just a moment. It's not actually a pocket. Um, it has to do with the extender in the bottom. So that's it for pockets on this one. Yeah, that's... That's it. That's all the pockets we got. We got wow. three. Okay. Okay. Um, so pulling everything out of this one, a couple of things to note. There is no laptop sleeve, which had I paid attention to the description, I would have noticed that. Um, but my laptop did fit in there. I just put a couple uh, pairs of wool socks towards the bottom to help pad it. It has my purse in there and my stuff because apparently I had my purse open so everything fell out. So there's that, don't do that. It has my portable fan my puffy uh, vest, easy access to my liquids container, my airplane comfort kit, my electronics in the adapter, my toiletry bag, socks because my feet always get cold on the plane, my wet wipes, a uh, few essentials, a couple more toiletry items that get wet, change of clothes, the shoulder strap that came with it, and my towel, because of course every traveler needs to have a towel. Um, so one thing I did want to share is that it does have the extender, and the extender can either be, this little compartment that's created by opening the extender, can be accessed by opening this zipper. And then in here is this little flap here that if you wanted to, you could zip off. You know, it's hard to see that, but you can close it off so that when you open the extender section, it's a separate from the rest, like if you had your shoes or dirty clothes or whatnot, you could pack them in here and have them separate from the rest of your stuff. So this is the story. I can't. I can't say it. It's S T U E R Y bag, uh, canvas bag, and I wanted to demonstrate the trolley sleeve. So it fits easily over the trolley sleeve. Um, there is a little zippered pocket here for your phone and passport if needed. And the corners are re did, the corners do have reinforced stitching here. One thing I will note is that this bag is heavier than the others. Um, and we'll put in the description the, the weight differences here. Um, but so it has the trolley sleeve like we talked about earlier. Um, it has the main compartment here, which does open fully, um, sort of, because it's got these little gussets. Um, so it does open quite wide. Um, it does have a laptop compartment in here. And then the very front, or I should say the, the front part here, does open up. So there's a pocket here. Um, there's a couple little pockets here, pen holders. There's another little pocket here. And then on the very front is this pocket here as well. What I really like about this bag is the quality seems uh, a really good bag. It's, uh, it's got leather handles, um, brass fittings. It just is a really sturdy, heavy, I like the styling of this bag more than the others. Um, but it does also weigh more than the others. So to measure this bag, to make sure it fits in the 18 by 
8 by 14 underseat carry sizer that the airports have. It is too big. It's nearly 20 inches there. It is too wide, sadly. I should say it's more than eight inches wide. Um, however, it does easily fit the 14 inches high. Um, so maybe you can squish it down and get it in the sizer. Um, but this has the same contents in it now that the other bags that I demonstrated. Um, so it is a little bit bigger. So in the front pocket here, I have just a couple of pens, extra pens and markers. I have my necklace with my essential oils in it. In this pocket, I have my flex flap in there. I have some papers my international driver's license, some documents, and then of course pens, because you can never have too many pens. That pocket is empty. And then in this compartment, oh, that is one thing I did notice. This bag does not have an external water pocket, uh, water bottle pocket, but there is plenty of room here. So my water bottle I just stuck in there. It has my purse. It's easy access to liquids, the quart bag for liquids. It comes with its own toiletry bag, although my toiletry bag is already packed, so I did not pack it in there. Um, it has my towel, because every traveler should have their towel with them. My toiletry bag, although I did just notice that my zipper is starting to fail. Um, my uh, airline comfort kit. My portable fan that I always carry with me my electronics, a change of clothes, adapters for my electronics, a couple more toiletry items, socks for the airplane because my feet get cold, a few more essentials, my wet wipes, my puffy vest, and then in this container or sleeve here is the uh, my laptop in there. And like the other bags I've been checking out, they didn't have, there's not a lot of padding in the bottom of the bag, uh, in the laptop sleeve, so I just carry a couple of extra wool socks to pad the bottom of the laptop compartment. And that is that bag fully offloaded.